ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the weekly review. Hopefully you had a good week. It was tyrannical, some bosses were hard, but we managed. And uh, of course, hopefully you managed to finish your uh, quest to get two extra bullions because this is gone this week. But this week you should be able to get your bullions up to four total. So uh, if you're missing, let's say two, you can just go into Alephar very quickly. Kill a few bosses, you should get it very quickly. And then you can go and buy another piece with uh, the bullion uh, tokens. Uh, having said that, you can use that piece in Metic Plus, which is going to be Fortified, Afflicted and Raging. Don't forget to pick whatever skill you need to dispel the Afflicted. That is going to be very useful. Uh, of course, if you're a Shaman, make sure you pick the Poison Cleansing Totem, as that solos the Affix. And then for Raging, uh, some particular mobs are going to be very annoying. Some mobs that we're used to stunning and knocking up to interrupt. If you don't have a uh, suit, then this could be problematic. Of course, for the fight means hard trash tank would be in imminent danger of dying. So, uh, you know, keep an eye on them. Don't let them die. And uh, of course, uh, at least the bosses should be a little bit uh, easier this week. Um, you should also have four catalyst charges total this week. So you don't need anything to get your four piece apart from pieces that you can actually put into the catalyst. So, uh, you know, go do some dungeons, hopefully you get lucky. And uh, you can also get a piece uh, uh, of gear crafted. I think it's two pieces of gear crafted right now. Uh, so those are pre plenty of options for you uh, to get uh, geared. Remix of uh, Pandemonium, Pandaria, whatever is coming up this week. So I'm kind of excited about this. Unfortunately, I have some uh, planned vacations coming up. So I don't know how much I'll be able to play. But I hope that uh, I'll be able to at least provide some content and get something going um, in that uh, regard. So uh, let's open some votes now. Uh, I'm going to start with my Shaman. Uh, I'm going to open his Enhancement because uh, I already have this for healing. I need a better healing trinket, but I have very crappy trinket as Enhancement. And I also have a healing weapon and I don't have good weapons as Enhancement. So if I get lucky on that front, that would be nice. Um, obviously I have all the votes from Mythic Plus. I have two Mythic votes from the Raid, I think, and one Heroic, so there should be plenty of options. So, uh, plenty to be disappointed. Alright, let's start from here. Uh, this is Mythic Coiled Serpent Idol. This could be a trinket for, um, enhancement. And I'll have to sim it, but I don't think this one is amazing. Um, this is the crit verse ring, which is not bad, but we're going to be using the double, uh, seals that have the extra, whatever, the extra skill. Um, so maybe, maybe that's not a good option. Oh my God. I think we're picking this, uh, the haste mastery neck. I think this is the, I don't, I don't think this is definitely the best, uh, neck for mastery. Oh no, this is heroic. This is the only heroic piece boys. I hate this game. This is the only heroic piece that we have in the vault, and it's the piece that we want. All right, let's see. Uh, this one is scrappy. I'm pretty sure it doesn't proc a lot. Uh, we can get Mythic Hands, uh, which would be six item level upgrade, and we can get other Mythic Hands, which are also six level upgrade. So the piece that we want, we basically, we don't want to pick something that's not Mythic Track. Um, that's very bad. Um, I don't know if I'll get a good chance to get this trinket though. And the other thing is I can craft an egg. I have uh, I have Lariat crafted last uh, tier. So maybe I can craft the Lariat again. And that kind of loses value picking this up. Oh, I'll send this trinket for enhancement. I'll see if it's bad. Uh, I don't think I'm picking this ring. So if this is bad, I'm just going to pick the gloves. And, uh, you know, have six item low upgrade. This makes me very, very sad. Like, I've worked so hard for this vault. And it's, uh... Yeah. Sends are some words there. Alright, uh, let's see. I actually managed to run most of my olds, um... To four dungeons just to get this extra piece of, uh, bullion gear. So, uh, I think all of them have at least four dungeons. I hope I park them all in front of the vault. Gonna start with the Pali. I haven't healed on the Pali in a long while. Uh, it felt so bad last time I tried it that I've been playing Protection and Retribution this week. I don't regret it at all. Uh, Red is a lot of fun. Protection, you know, it's always good to have a different perspective on the dungeons once you go in and tank them a little bit. 
you find out some things. So uh, I always enjoy doing that. It helps your perspective of dungeons and it helps you become a better player overall, including healer. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna open as. Um, right now we are in protection, so let's open as protection. I don't care. Uh, we have this and this as trinkets, so maybe yeah, we need we need better weapon and better shield for protection. So uh, if we get lucky with that, that's gonna be it. Uh, we get a breastplate, which is uh, probably good, and we get a shoulder. Let me check. I have a piece of gear that I can convert to token. This is hero anyway. So maybe the shoulder is the pick. Uh, because obviously I need four piece. I'm using the old four, four piece. So uh, the shoulders I can convert. The chest I can convert. And I, I'm still... Actually I have pants that I can convert. So I'm going to need uh, one more piece of gear. 489. Yeah, that's the old one. Yeah, so I think I think that's that's uh, what's gonna happen here. Uh, we're gonna pick up the shoulders, so we don't have to worry about them later. And uh, we need to find one more piece for somewhere to get our upgrades done. Uh, let me drag this over here to make sure I check it later. And we are on to the priest. The priest was, uh, I mean, it was fun. Uh, I healed some keys as disc. Uh, that's what I continued playing after last season. I'm enjoying it. It's it's a fun spec to play. Uh, it's also kind of simplified. Uh, there's not that many buttons. It's not so bloated as some of the other specs. You can always find little things to improve, but uh, it's pretty chill to play the priest. You either manage to heal through things or you don't, but there's not like extra cooldowns or stuff that you can press. Uh, so uh, it is what it is, you know. Um, so on the priest, I think I got um, I got this last week. Uh, I, that's one of the pieces that I got then, and that was the other. Th those are not this, but they, they were like the biggest upgrades. Uh, so that's why I opted for them. Uh, obviously we need, actually we need a lot of things. We need four piece. Uh, we got this. This is not bad. And then we got hands. Let me check. Uh, I have, I have shoulders that can, uh, catalyst. And I have another shoulders that are already catalyst. Um, so if I pick the gloves, I am getting closer to four piece, but this trinket is actually not bad. However, this trinket I can upgrade to whatever, doesn't matter. Um, so that means that I have to drop my ward with leech, which I'll have to do at some point, but I, I kind of enjoy having this, uh, while progging keys and healing undergeared people. So uh, this, is, this is actually a hard choice. Uh, I also have to drop this at some point. But right now it's my highest uh, item level um, item. So, you know, it, it's a bit too early to drop it. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Both are hero level. Uh, actually, I don't like this one because you have to dispel yourself. I, I play this on the Shaman. It sucks so bad. Especially if you have to dispel other things. And like this week is going to be incorporeal. I'm just gonna go with the gloves. Like, I like the idea behind this trinket, but... Yeah. I mean, if if it didn't waste your dispel, at least, uh, then then we could talk about it. But right now, it's just, I don't want to deal with this. It's a, it's a, it's an okay trinket. It's not bad at all. Uh, it gives you stats once you dispel yourself. But, uh, yeah, it's very tricky because sometimes you don't dispel yourself. And you don't dispel yourself, you're actually losing stats. So it's very tricky to play with. All right, uh, we're gonna go reverse order here, starting with the Druid, going up to the Evoker, and then uh, the Monk. I don't think I've run... Maybe I've run eight keys on the Monk, I'm not sure. But the rest were just four, uh, four keys, just to get the quest done. And uh, these ults are actually with uh, quite bad gear, as they currently stand. But it is what it is, hopefully... It's gonna get better, especially if I play them. It doesn't look like I'm gonna play them though, because as I said, the pandemonium is coming. I wanna play that. Uh, oh no, we are in Narnia. Um, so uh, as I said, I wanna play that. I think I uh, did. I attune this trinket. Yeah, that's why I came here. Uh, I got the Omnius uh, Essence trinket. Uh, it's probably not best for healing, but. Uh, I kind of want to play a little bit of bear, try how that works, and I want to learn feral. So having flexible trinkets is actually um, very good for classes like that, especially if you're switching specs. If you're not switching specs, you can find your best and then uh, you'll be fine. Um, alrighty. 
So, can I fly here? All right. Uh, we are going to open as restoration though, because this is what we're currently playing. Hopefully we are in restoration spec. Yes, we are. So we got this. We got a staff, which is not bad. Um, looking relatively good. So we're not going to be picking this. It's haste mastery. And the other option is bracers, which is an upgrade. It's going to be huge upgrade. So uh, haste mastery, it is what it is. At least uh, not a wasted vault as some of the other pieces that uh, we saw there. Actually, I'm going to equip these right away just so I don't forget to do that later. Getting our item level up a little bit. Next, the Evoker. Uh, I wanted to play the Evoker in Raid. I'm uh, I've said it a few times already, but I enjoy Raid healing on the Evoker. But last week with all the keys that had to run on alts, uh, there was not that much time. I also managed to publish some videos on my YouTube channel. You can check those, like the main channel, not the one that you're watching this video on. Um, so there's uh, there's some interesting content there. And uh, as I said, vacation coming up, but hopefully I'll be able to put in a few more videos there uh, every now and then. Alrighty. Um, the Evoker is also not where it's uh, supposed to be, but uh, it is what it is. We didn't hit the door. All right. Um, the evoker also has this. Uh, it got the wire, the uh, thing from from the raid. I think uh, we got one of the seals. So we basically we also crafted the uh, the bracer. So the evoker is actually looking pretty good. Uh, the evoker is looking pretty good. Um, so let's see what we get. Uh, this trinket, I don't like it. Because you're losing intellect at some point. Like, even if haste is good for you, I actually hate this. Um, do we? Oh, we run off hands. All right, all right. So that's going to be upgrade. Crit verse, probably not the best stats. Not bad uh, either. That's the biggest upgrade that we can get. So uh, we have to work with that. I was hoping for a little bit better, but let's not get greedy. Alrighty, so uh, 494 for the Evoker. That's probably the best geared ult uh, after, um, of course, my uh, Monk, which I played the most. And let's see how many keys we run on the Monk. Pretty sure there were only four, but uh, we'll see how it is. And then, uh, yeah, th there's going to be a, a big pause for those uh, ults. So, uh, yeah, you can probably hear the bait back there. Very annoying. But it's gonna get worse. <clears throat> hopefully I parked the monk. Uh, I probably didn't. Uh, hopefully I parked... Oh, I did. Alright, alright. So, uh, we're opening as Mist Weaver. We have this. We have a trinket that we need to get rid of. We need better weapon. We need better rings. We need everything on the monk. Um, hmm, interesting. So we got a main hand, which means that we can replace our staff. I actually think uh, I, I somehow trolled and bought this with bullets just so I have a better weapon. So maybe not the best pick. Um, wrists, I think this is, this is what we pick, boys. Uh, we have a staff that we can upgrade easily. So uh, this is going to be the biggest upgrade. Has haste mastery. I mean, I, I, I don't want to see mastery there in Mythic Plus, but it is what it is. Um, it's going to be our best upgrade so far. And I can also check what the Catalyst uh, does with these and probably get better stats on them anyways. Um, all right. I don't know where you went. There we go. All right. So the Monk is 504 already. So, uh, nothing to complain about, I guess. That's going to be it for, uh, this week's weekly review. Hopefully I have better luck on your votes because I don't think I got anything good that I wanted. few small upgrades here or there, but... That's all that uh, there is to it. Uh, I'll see you in the Pandaland, I guess, uh, at the, the end of this week. And then uh, we'll see how much uh, I'll be able to play. I'm going to stream on my main channel and on Twitch. If you're in interested to watch some of these, probably a rate on uh, Wednesday. And then uh, whenever I'm back, uh, I'll be back uh, playing even more. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck this week. Now get out of here.